This Saturday they face the Oakland Raiders. It will be Mike McDaniel's first game at Hard Rock Stadium. He has said in press conferences that we should expect to see players who did not play in the first game of the preseason get some playing time during the second game. Tuesday was not a good practice for the Miami Dolphins offense. Every quarterback threw interceptions. Tua Tagovailoa threw three during the practice session, when McDaniel was asked about the multi-interception performance from Tagovailoa he said. We turned the ball over way too much, which was a great learning lesson for Tua, on Wednesday, Tagovailoa seemed content with the improvements made day to day. Yeah, I think everybody got better from yesterday. I think yesterday seemed one-sided in the first half, he said, one clear standout on the defensive side was Jevon Holland, who wore the orange practice jersey on Thursday. This goes to who the coaches vote as the best player from the previous practice. This week Holland has had multiple interceptions. The Miami Dolphins staff seems to be very impressed by how Holland has performed all training camp long, another performer who has stood out is wide receiver, Trent Sherfield. On Wednesday he earned the orange practice jersey of glory. He caught touchdowns from every quarterback this week. The Miami Dolphins wide receivers room is very competitive for those final roster spots. Braylon Sanders continues to show his big play ability catching touchdowns this week as well. Lynn Bowden Jr. has been making waves after his performance in the first preseason game, Mike McDaniel also showed his fiery side this week. He was animated from poor practice performances, I don't enjoy yelling, but you have to do what you have to do to let them know exactly the urgency of the moment, McDaniel said. In an interview with the Dan LeBattard show with Stugatz, McDaniel also said, I can make things fun but I will not hesitate to hold people accountable.